Well, at least the threat's been taken care of. There are no more man hacks, but I'm in this room. Um, we have a ladder that goes down. We have a pipe, which we're not going to be able to crawl into because the water level is too low. We should raise the water level. We can do that by climbing up this ladder, jumping onto this pipe, hopefully successfully. So much for that. One more time. There we go. We need to get into that room over there, so we'll come over here and crouch. Also, I think it's funny that even though I'm approaching this as if it were a blind Let's Play, I am <laughs> directing you to exactly how to solve this puzzle, because quite honestly, the puzzle can take a, quite a while otherwise uh, to sit here and try and figure out. So, let's see. We need to get down there. There's the lever. Okay. Lever. Check. Uh, falling onto that thing would be useful. There we go. Ha. Why, hello there, water level. Pleasure seeing you rise today. Oh, supply crate. Give me your juices. That was actually something that Alex said, like, sophomore year. Uh, Alex is my roommate if you don't already watch the vlogs. He says some really crazy stuff. Actually, for funsies, why doesn't everyone post their favorite Alex quote in the comments of this video? Oh god! Also, I... Accidentally hitting tilde instead of one! But they are close by, so that makes sense. They're behind me. Yeah, yeah! You want some of this? Take that. Oh. So now I can go down here. <laughs> if I don't drown. Actually, I might drown. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes! Ha! Barely made it. Let's see here. Ladder. Okay. Alright, I need to get over there. Um. Aha! Half-Life 2 was one of the first games to really, um, maybe it was the first game, but someone will probably correct me, uh, was re uh, one of the first games to really make use of physics in games. Uh, crates float because they are wood and hollow, so they float. So we can use them to stand on, hopefully, if they're not tumbling so much. Seriously, this one is a tumbler. We have got a tumbler, and I'm not talking about the website. Come on, swim, Gordon Freeman, swim. Let's see if we can get on top of... Wow. I'm, like, drowning here. Alright, let's get on top of this. Come on, jump! Gordon Freeman, you're letting me down here. Let's see if we can get some other stuff down here. Make it easier on us. Breaking wood under the water, cause I need to step on some stuff so I can get across like a bridge. That's a new hit single that's going to be released in Europe tomorrow. All right, jumping on. Oh, come on. Okay, I got a new idea. I'm just going to jump to that. There we go. There we go. That worked. Trusty pistol by my side? Well, really not by my side if it's in my hand. Trusty pistol in my hand. Now what struggles do we have to face? Another ladder. Onto a small piece of nothing. And it's important to remember that like this stuff can break. Like You break a platform, you can't get back. Although I don't really think we're going to need to go back that way. I'm going to jump down here, onto that box. Poop. Oh crap, they're behind me also! Man hacks are my least favorite things. I can't even see what I'm doing. But I got him. I, I, ironically, I didn't get that thing. Or maybe there was two. They're still alive. Why can't I climb up to that? Did 
this is really advice for pretty much any first-person shooter, but you should always be very light on your machine gun firing, because that way you'll really preserve ammo that way. So if you can help it... Aw, oh, crap again. Doggone it, they just don't stop. I can hear you. Where are you? Where are you? Man, that's so eerie when you can hear the enemy and you can't see it. There you are. Hello, friend. Okay. Suck on that. Just until I have enough time to grab those, those supplies. Alright, now what? More stuff to climb? Is this Mario? This is turning into a platformer. Give me a pistol. Oh, crap. This is what I was talking about. If you move this wood, you're screwed, because this wood is what's holding this platform together. Even more supplies. And another achievement unlocked. Awesome. Okay, now I'm on the other side of that wall. Alright, now what evils do I have to face? Ah, you can you can kind of hear that little uh, clicking noise in the background. That is my Half-Life indicator. Ha! Huh, Half-Life and Half-Life. But uh, if you get too close to radiation, it will alert you. Because you shouldn't be walking around in radiation. That poor woman. Or man. Is it a woman? Maybe it's a man. It looks like a man. Although, they're faceless. Let's jump across that. Oh, look! It's uh, Dr. Hey, Kleiner's pet. You're Freeman, aren't you? We got word you were coming. You got here at a bad time. Black Mesa East to Station 6. Do you read? Dr. Freeman is on his way down river. Lend him the airboat and give him all the help you can. Repeat, Gordon Freeman has returned. It is critical he reaches Black Mesa East. I have returned. Get some ammo in those crates over there. Help yourself to supplies and keep moving. I already have full ammo for the submachine gun. So they're going to give me an airboat. I like airboats. But apparently they're not going to give it to me yet. Hmm. Oh, God, you are... You died. Head crabs. Ah. Head crabs latch onto your head and turn you into head crab zombies. They suck out your brains. They can also leap. Which I'm not real fond of. Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus. So that's why you shouldn't right-click, kids, because you might have your gun loaded with a grenade. You should also kill these things with a uh, crowbar if you can to preserve ammo and sanity. We ran into a headcrab zombie a little earlier, well, the top half of one. Take that, buddy. Jump at me, jump at me. Yeah! There's a lot of dead people. But you know what? I'm not dead. And that's my favorite part of... Okay, that's a headcrab zombie. He's been completely taken over by the headcrab. It's pretty much gnawing on his brain right now. Wow, that was really unnecessary. That was kind of a big jump. This is pretty much the part of the game that's introducing us to headcrab zombies. Letting us know that they exist. Also, I, 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 I'm really glad I didn't have any uh, alternate fire, any grenades in my gun, because I totally just right-clicked. And I'm doing just what I said not to do. I'm firing at them instead of using a crowbar. Take that, buddy. Alright. Taking care of them one by one. So there's some dead headcrab zombies over there. Not dead, not dead. Mm -hmm. 
They take some fire. And then the head crabs fall off. That was that was good. That was good. We're fine. A little half-life indicator's going crazy here. What's that sound? Oh! More of you guys. Okay, wait. I'm going to do what I said to do and use the stinking crowbar. Of course, there was only one. This is an example of what not to touch, because they hurt. Electricity can hurt. Oh, God. Oh, gun. Gun! 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 Ah. <sighs> Man, this sucks. Also, it doesn't seem. So oh, poop! Poop in a biscuit. Monkey fart. Yeah. I killed him. Well, most of them. I gotta get out of here. This is not safe. This is not safe. This is. No, oh, Jesus! You are not dead. Reloading. Okay. That's not cool. You shouldn't, like, come out there and scare me like that. I'm gonna walk around. Again. Deal with that, buddy. Ha. Ah. Oh, thank God. Something that looks relatively safe. Hey, Dr. Freeman. I've been hoping you'd show up. Me too. This airboat all gassed up and ready to go. All right, the airboat. It's going to be tough dodging civil protection out there in the open, but drive hard and you'll make it. You'll find more help up at Station 7. Just a few bends up the river. It's the old red barn. Oh, man. Oh, man. Fire her up. <laughs> oh. Open that gate, woman, because it is airboating time. Yeah.